Hello guys, welcome to Credit Fitness 1980 and welcome to today's video. So today's video, based on the title, you guys know what I'm going to be sharing with you guys, some of my experience that I've been dealing with and how I was able to really pinpoint exactly what was happening to me. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'll try to kind of like make everything as short as possible, but if you don't want to watch the whole video, that's okay. You can fast forward it to whatever the part that you might be interested in. Um, I'm only saying that because I would love for you to watch watch the whole video because I'm not going to miss anything out. However, I know like some people may not like to watch a long video, but if you are somebody that might be interested in breast implant, um, I think this video is very important for you to kind of watch and then me sharing with you guys um, what I've been through since um, after having my twins because they're just now three years old. So long story short, I have implant for... 13 years now so I can really speak about it is not something that I'm just saying just to be saying you know um, so I can really really tell you guys a lot because I have implant for 13 years so with that being said based on the title you guys already know what we're gonna get into today and I want to thank every single one of you guys who have subscribed to my channel you guys are the best um, honestly I did my YouTube channel just because I wanted to share my journey and then share everything with you guys um, to from post pregnancy and then leaving everyday life after having the twins so this is what my channel was mainly gonna focusing on however a lot of things start happening where I share everything with you guys starting with my mommy makeover and so on and so forth so today video again I'm gonna talk about breast implant illness um, and with that being said before I jump into the video please if this is your first time here thank you so much but please subscribe to credit fitness 1980 so that way we can grow this family together and then share my experience with you guys mean the world to me so therefore I really want you guys to be a part of the family share this channel with friends and family member and yes so let's just jump into the video I went to I did all my blood work everything is okay which I encourage you guys to always always do your annual checkup that was perfect everything is fine and then my um, primary doctor hit me up with the reality then this is where I'm at so one of the thing that I started noticing was I couldn't sleep at night oh my gosh so I'm like, okay, is it normal? And I'm like, I can't sleep at night and I'm a sleeper. I mean, let me tell you, my husband can tell you, he always like, why you sleep so much? I'm a sleeper. Is that the words? Okay. So I sleep, so I love my sleep. I couldn't sleep. So we were going on month one, month two, month three. Nothing's wrong with me. Everything check out to be okay. So now I started taking sleeping pills, thinking that, okay, it's gonna go away. It's getting worse. And then another thing starting happening to me, I tired, like I can't get up in the, I, because I'm not getting any sleep at night. So when I have to get up in the morning to take care of the girls, I have no energy. I'm literally forcing myself to do things. I'm literally getting, um, like, it's just unbelievable. Like, you know, when you tired from working, like maybe if you have two, three jobs and then you tire, your body says, okay, enough is enough. This is exactly how I was feeling and I'm not even working. So it was just crazy what I'm going through and still now. I had to really force myself. I haven't worked out for like maybe five months now because I live, once I pull up in the gym and I'm not kidding you guys not, I pull up at the gym and I sat in my car. I started crying, I'm like, what is happening to me? I pull off, drive right out because I don't have any desire to work out. The next thing is, let me put this down a little bit. Okay, perfect. And then um, one of the things too I was I started to experience was memory. And like for example, <laughs> I have my social for as long as I can remember. Every now and then if I'm filling out something, I'm like, oh my god, I literally have a brain frog. Like what? Uh, what? Like <laughs> it was just like Oh my gosh and I was with my husband out and then my husband says can you grab your credit card out I'm like well, I, I literally said to him I'm sorry what he's like a credit card I was just like honey this is not you like everything 
I went down everything so that way I can kind of like share with you guys because I didn't want to forget anything. So that way you kind of like understand um, when people are saying, oh, well, um, breast implant um, illness, it's, it's, it's people that making it up. It's not true at all because I am breast infant is being a part of my life for 13 years. So I never had any, uh, any plan to remove it. As a matter of fact, I did three surgery trying to keep it as a part of my everyday lifestyle. So, um, for me to come out here and explain to you guys what causing me to not be myself lately, I have no reason to because and again i believe in i did believe in it i had it for 13 years so um but when things start happening to me i was like whoa what is going on and and like i said i'm not saying for you not to do any cosmetic surgery i'm not telling you not to but what i am telling you is that um these are the things that could happen because let's face it you're putting a firm object in your body um you don't know what your body's gonna be doing to it especially if you have implant before having kids and after having kids your body go through a lot change a lot of changes that's gonna take maybe a year or two years to recover even though everything looks good in the outside but in the inside things are not healed 100 percent and i think also this was one of the problem that i think i should have waited before i put the implant back in but and again, I'm not sitting here to say don't get implant. This is not what this video is about. It's about me sharing with you guys what I'm going through dealing with this breast, okay? So, night sweat. Oh my freaking God. Like seriously, I'm always cold in this house because my husband literally have to keep the AC at 60 degree to feel like he's good. <laughs> so, I have night sweat like there's nobody's business. Um, last week, I find myself literally sleeping with nothing on because I'm like, what the hell? And I have night sweat all the time. I'm tired all the time. And which is kind of like a good and a bad thing because it almost looks like your body's speaking to you. And for me to be somebody that's very focusing on my health and fitness, um, and you can't ignore these signs because what's going to happen, your body always going to speak to you in a way that to understand because it's not like it's gonna say oh you need to take this implant out it's not gonna tell me oh you need to take this implant out but it's gonna do it's gonna send signal to be like okay if you don't get this situated it's gonna get worse okay so that's how you know when your body's speaking to you um i talked to you guys about fatigue how i have no energy <laughs> having trouble remembering things which i talked to you guys about I, I mean, it's just unfreaking believable. And then sinuses and cough and cold, two weeks on, two weeks off, two weeks on, two weeks off. I am so over it. I am so tired of it. It's no joke. Like my video that I did about maybe a week or two weeks ago, it literally, in the middle of the video, I had this major cough where I'm actually taking Benadryl for, for things, for like allergy. I've never experienced anything like that in my entire life. Never. Okay, guys? Never. I have no sex drive whatsoever. And which was the reality check for him. He's like, okay, this is not you. I mean, you used to be the one that I have to say, slow down. And now I'm begging. So this is one of the things too. And again, I'm not blaming anything on this implant, but I'm just telling you guys what's been happening to me that I've never experienced before. And then I know that my body, I know things started happening with me after literally after my last surgery things were just like falling down you know keep get going down so and i know for a fact that that is probably what's causing that and i know myself i know and if everything is healthy if everything i bought me is from my blood work from seeing my doctor like if everything is perfect then why the hell i'm not feeling why the hell i'm still sick why the hell i'm still feeling that way does that make sense it's just unbelievable and also my acne has gotten worse i went to see my dermatology um she says to me you should he's like she's like okay what's going on your acne instead of getting better is getting worse and i've done a lot of research online where everything i'm telling you guys right now a lot of women as reported it was so um uh like 
unreal to me that some of these women they have experienced things that I feel like they're leaving my body and that's how I know it was time for me to have not doing another surgery to put the implant back in because every woman that was I was doing research on they experienced almost identical to what I'm feeling until when they take the implant out hundreds of women has been getting explant surgery and which really a good way a good Facebook page I'm a part of it now I sign up um, and also one of my friend she's um, she's she's done same thing she's done the aspirin therapy that didn't work for her um and she's also now experienced breast implant illness she's having a surgery in august um she was the she's a photographer she did the girl's first photo shoot for them and she actually find my video on youtube and then she reached out to me she's like oh my gosh i can't believe it's you let me tell you what's going on i'm dealing with the same thing so this thing is will um i just want to educate you guys um things that you might want to be mindful about before getting any kind of like cosmetic surgery because everything has pros and cons um and then you don't know what it's gonna do 10 15 20 years from now if you're okay with that then that's fine but my honest opinion though when i had implant i was clueless i was very young i had my daughter i think at 21 22 years old i was very clueless about everything all i know was i want my cleavage back i didn't want to have a saggy boobs and everything after breastfeeding so i didn't do any research i didn't know what i know now so i just put the implant so that's how this whole implant journey started for me but if i know what i know now probably not absolutely not um and as i was reading some of these um on the website these are some of the um of the illness that a lot of people as we um reported that they've been having so i'm sorry if my head is going to be down so i'm just trying to um type in so i can read it to you guys some people report they have anxiety fatigue joint pain muscle pain and that pretty much explains why i can't work out because every time i'm trying to like get up and go to the gym something i'm just my muscle ache all the time i mean girl guys it's just like crazy um brain fog which we talked about it earlier difficult concentrating a memory lost um muscle weakness temperature intolerance sensitive sensitive to the to light sensitive to sound difficulty of swallowing hair loss dry skin and hair um which i am like i can't take it anymore my skin is so dry half of the time where i'm like okay i'm always putting moisturizer on my skin it's just not happening um um sinus infection um recurrent illness like cold non-stop cough non-stop or i mean it's just uh, crazy some people report they have heat infection, skin rashes, visual disturbance, um, choking feeling, um, headache, depression, um, decreasing in libidos, which is me, definitely. Sharp pain in the breast, yes. Oh my God, like um, sometimes I literally have to lay on the mat to squeeze it down just so I don't feel that sharp pain in the breast. And then last week, this one started too. And again, my black seed oil has been a life savior for me. Um, food intolerance, I don't have that issue. Um, inflammation, I'm dealing with that. Like sometimes I like my feet got swollen, um, my belly got swollen, like I'm like almost like pregnant again. It's just unbelievable. And then we talk about sweat, night sweat, and then short of breath. Um, these are like some of all these things that women has experienced and then as you can see half of them i've already talked to you guys about so for me to sit there and then not acknowledge what's happening would be a lie would be like i'm lying to myself because i'm already experiencing it. i've done all the all the blood work my health pretty much speaks for itself so the only thing that's left to do is to remove that foreign object in my body to see how my body is gonna react after this surgery which you guys will be along the way with me if this is not what caused it then i need to figure out maybe i need to go to uh, to the moon and to come back and then get the answer because i don't see anything else but that so i wanted to really um explain to you guys go into details and i'm so sorry this video is too long i wanted to take my time to explain to you guys so um i will be doing more um video um 
um, on my journey explain surgery so you guys get to see how the breast looking now and then I'm I'm you know at first I was very nervous I didn't know if I have the the strength and and to deal with the saggy boobs or whatever the result may be but at this point on health overall so if my health is um if my health is more important to me and then I, I need to preach what I've um what I believe in so that's pretty much what I have to do it's not because to show people but by the end of the day it's for my health and then maybe I can inspire some of you guys down the road so am I against um implant um no um but if somebody would have told me i was gonna have to have three surgery later and then now this is gonna be my fourth surgery chances are i'll be like oh hell no i'm not doing that but everybody's different everybody's body's gonna react different but even though there's no scientist evidence saying that this caused this but now a lot of doctors has been doing a lot of more research they have agreed that it could happen this could happen because you putting a foreign object on your body obviously things could go wrong and everybody have different tolerance for certain things so for me to be as healthy as i am and i'm dealing with this issue i can only imagine how certain people might react to it now and again people goes 30 40 years without having any issues that's fine but there are certain things that could happen inside that you don't know and then when the signal sent out it could be too late i'm not saying that to freak anybody out i'm just being real because i'm glad that these are starting to happen to me so i could act on it because my goal was to get a smaller implant um call it a day but after listening to my body saying no 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 this is not right my body's saying you know what we love you we want you to be healthy we want you to have your bodies back so therefore we're gonna send you some signal to realize that you are not doing another fourth surgery and i'm glad that i listened to my body i'm glad that i had open-minded i'm glad that i have google and the internet to thank for because there's so many information right here in your hands if you really do your research um so i wanted to do this video to explain to you guys what caused me to remove uh, going through this journey what caused me to decided to remove this implant because i can't live my life like that i i need to have my energy if anything i have a little one so my energy means everything to me um forget about not getting sleep at night or sweating or memory fog like it's just non-stop things and um even my daughter, my oldest one's a mom, enough is enough. Like they just had it in this house with me. So this is not me complaining to you guys. This is about me um, sharing what's going on. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because I'm a very strong person. I can handle it. I just want to, I think that this journey I'm going through, maybe this is um, my way. Uh, maybe this is God ways to be like, okay. You need to listen to your body and you need to share your journey with other women. And honestly, guys, I have so many women already. They have emailed me. Not so many, but I'm saying like five or six to me. That's so many because I was honored. I was humbled to see that I'm helping other women out there. I'm helping other women to be encouraged, more positive about their body image and everything. Because the reality of it is I used to think that a nice cleavage and a nice dress is everything i'm like oh my god and i still do i still do however there are more than life than just a nice cleavage there are things that could go wrong and by just having a nice cleavage so um i just wanted to do this video and then share with you guys what's been happening to me and we go to breast implant illness and then if you experience anything like that do your research talk to your doctor and then um you can take the next step if you want to but i will be taking you guys through that journey with me all the way through so if if you make it this far to this video please don't forget to subscribe join the family and give this video a thumbs up as always be you be fit be blessed have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys on my next video bye